This is the x-ray of a 17-year-old boy who'd sustained a mid-shaft clavicle fracture 18 months previously, which had gone on to a malunion. About a year after his injury, he developed spontaneous anterior recurrent instability of his sternoclavicular joint whenever he abducted and retracted his shoulder. An MRI arthrogram demonstrated that he'd sustained a complete tear of the anterior capsule. His presenting problem was a type 1 SCJ anterior instability due to tearing of his anterior capsule, but this was due to the abnormal crank shape of his clavicle. To treat this would require a repair of his anterior capsule, but also a corrective clavicle osteotomy. A comparative CT scan of both his clavicles was used, from which the contralateral normal clavicle was superimposed on the malunion. A calculation was then made in three orthogonal planes as to where the most appropriate position for an osteotomy would be made. A virtual osteotomy jig was then created which would be held in position by Steinman pins to allow for step osteotomy. The pins would then be corrected in position and held by a reduction jig which had a guide hole for a lag screw. The position for a standard clavicle plate was then recommended. A 3D model of the malunited clavicle and osteotomy jig were created. The jig is positioned on the clavicle and held in position with Steinman pins. The osteotomy is then performed. Using the reduction jig, the Steinman pins from either side of the osteotomy are aligned, the drill hole for the lag screw made and the lag screw inserted. The plate is then contoured and fixed in position. This is the operative exposure of the clavicle. The osteotomy jig has been positioned and held in place with the Steinman pins. The osteotomy has been performed and the Steinman pins are being manipulated into the reduced position. The reduction jig is then positioned, the lag screw inserted and the contoured plate applied. A repair of the anterior sternoclavicular joint capsule is then undertaken, protected with an internal brace using the technique that we've previously described. This is an x-ray of the patient at six months that shows that the osteotomy has healed, which is confirmed on CT scan, and we can see a nice position has been obtained on the reformatted scan. The patient has regained a full range of motion and his sternoclavicular joint is now stable on all movements. These pre- and post-operative images demonstrate the anatomical correction obtained by the clavicle osteotomy. If you would like to know more about this subject or anything about the shoulder, visit my website Cambridge Shoulder or my YouTube channel.